You know, back in 1908, a couple of guys decided to uh, start developing and manufacturing small engines. Well, that's where Briggs and Stratton came from. And from then, they have become one of the biggest small, big engine generator companies in the world. How you doing? Tom Oliver with Security Electronics in the Generator Store here uh, in uh, Pass Christian, just off of I-10 in uh, Manj Avenue, Pass Christian. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Well, good. I know this is a really busy time of the year for you. Things are starting to pick up again. Mm -hmm. We're getting right before hurricane season, and uh, it won't be long, and we'll see what's going on with the weather. Yep, yep. I mean, this, and with the weather down here on the coast, I mean, not only during hurricane season, but you know, throughout the year, we get these storms that pop up all of a sudden. A lot of chances of uh, you know, your home, your business, or whatever, losing power. That's why it's always great to be prepared. And with Absolutely. coming here with uh, Security Electronics and the Generator Store, you can hook people up with just about anything that they need and any needs that they need. And like I said, Briggs and Stratton been around since 1908. They sell better than 10 million units a year to people. So it's got to be a good company. Absolutely. Now right, you've got some different sizes here. Let's start out with uh, this. Uh, Was it 12KW? A little small one here. Well, so the newest line of the Briggs and Stratton whole house generators uh, is the Power Protect series, and so here we're starting with a what we call a 12 slash 11, which means 12 kW on propane and 11 kW on natural gas. So sometimes they derate them like that because the propane burns a little bit hotter than what the natural gas does. Mm -hmm. So this would be a 12 11. Uh, so we've started installing the power protect generators about a year ago. So we've had a chance to to prove them, mm -hmm. and uh, they really they've really been working out. Um, so this is this is the older variety. This is the Fortress, what we call the Fortress style of the Briggs and Stratton generators, and that's a 20 kW, and this is a 20 kW of the new Power Protect, which is much more compact and uh, a lot easier to work on and get into, and, mm -hmm. and they've, over the years, modified things as necessary to make it, you know, more effective for the customer and for the people having to work on them. So everything, the sides all come off instead of having to unbolt everything and you got to have a bunch of tools and it only takes a little bit to get into it. As you said, it's easy, accessible, just, you know, unlock it and open it right up. Absolutely. So with the 20KW Briggs & Stratton unit, uh, we were talking about the derating it between propane and natural gas. With the Briggs & Stratton 20KW generator, if you have natural gas, it's uh, 20KW as well, so it's both 20 kW on propane and natural gas for that for that unit, mm -hmm. and then we've got we've got a real nice generator here that this is the largest air cooled generator currently manufactured, and it's a 26 kW, which is 26 kW on propane and 24 kW on natural gas. Um, that generator will run a larger house, considerably larger house or business than what you know, the smaller generator will run. Mm -hmm. And so once you get to a point where you need something bigger than a 20, you typically have had to go to a liquid cooled unit, which price is about double just to start into the liquid cooled generator. Mm -hmm. So so the 26 kW Power Protect Briggs and Stratton generator really gives gives a lot more for for the customer's money. Now what size home would you recommend this home uh, for this this size generator for? Uh, you said this was covers a you know pretty good size home. Well, so this so with the 20 kW unit, we're we're normally able to do uh, about a 2,500 or 3,000 square foot uh, home. That's total electric, of course. If it's your appliances are mostly gas, then we don't need quite as big of a generator because those appliances are running on gas. Right. But so now the the Power Protect 26. Now we can go up to about a 4,000 square foot house wow. because it'll run like three HC units, two water heaters, um, and some other stuff. Um, so with this, with this line of generators of the Briggs and Stratton whole house generators, the housings are all aluminum. They come with a 10-year parts labor travel factory warranty, mm -hmm. which is a great big plus in the generator industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got load management capabilities to do different things. We can temporarily turn off a water heater in order to start up that third AC unit, or if you're cooking and doing some other things, we can so select So it's programmable, them. basically. Well, so the modules that we use will temporarily turn off another device in order to 
make something else work that you right. need right now. Right, right. So now, like the smaller one, the 12 kW. I mean, is that just like for what? Uh, that would be like for an apartment or a small home mm -hmm. with you know a small AC. Like 12, 1,200 square foot kind of thing. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere up to about 1,200 square feet. That mm -hmm. that would cover that. Now. As far as uh, you know, the, the, your wiring and everything, I, I noticed on, on the wall over here you've got um, some of your uh, uh, the different things. Um, that some uh, of the different automatic transfer switches that when the power goes out, the utility power is sensed by the transfer switch, and when it sees that the power's out, it will start up the generator, and the generator will transfer over to your house and put you on emergency power until the utility power or power company power returns then it'll automatically transfer over. You don't have to go out and run extension cords like you do with a portable and you just wait there a few seconds and um, everything comes on automatically and provides your home with power, you know, emergency think, power as you need it. I think that's one of the pain, uh, main things that's a pain is if you have just a small portable generator, you've got to run extension cords, then you're trying to determine where do I run the extension cord to? What's more important than this or that? But uh, you know, with one of these generators, it's a no-brainer. It's all automatic. Yeah. And, and if you're running cords, by the time you get your cords pulled out, it might power might come back. <laughs> It'd be too late. Yeah. Everything in the freezer is gone. <laughs> um, now, <clears throat> if someone wants an evaluation of their home, I mean, they, they can just call you and set up an appointment. Yes, we can do a takeoff sheet. We get all the information about appliances, square footage of the home, mm -hmm. AC units, and other requirements. And um, and then we'll do a takeoff sheet on that. We can do a basic estimate, and then we can do a site visit in order to verify all the information that we were provided and what it's going to take to do the installation. Now, uh, two, this is something you probably want to, you know, we, we talk about hurricane season, but again, because of just storms that pop up here along the Gulf Coast, it's good to have something like this and uh, prepared, you know, be prepared. That's that's one of the major things that we want to, want to uh, imply upon everyone. Best that's to right. be prepared ahead that's of right. time. So uh, now, um, what hours are y'all open here? We're open from uh, 8 till 4, mm -hmm. Monday through Friday, and we're closed on the weekends. Closed on the weekend? Okay. And uh, again, if someone wants to an evaluation, you'll go out to their home, take a look at what they have, and, and again, you do have to take into account what appliances they have that are gas, what appliances they have that are electric, because you know if you've got partial gas, partial electric, you may not need one of the, the bigger uh, units, but you still going to want something that's going to power everything. That's correct. We take all those things into consideration when we're figuring out what size generator the customer might need mm -hmm. and give them all their options. All right, Tom Oliver, Security Electronics and the Generator Store, They're located off of Menj Avenue. You get off the exit, head north about a half, about a quarter of a mile. You're going to find Security Electronics and the Generator Store.